husband, Justin Crochet, is moderating. Hi. Hey there. And I have coffee. We're going to be looking at some swatches. And I am going to be going through some birthday related hauls. Hopefully the crinkling isn't too aggravating. Let's see. Maybe we should add a microphone. What do you think? How do I sound? Oh, you'll let me know. If the sound that sounds a little funny, I'll add a microphone in a minute. Otherwise, we'll just trust the iPad to do its iPad goodness. Hopefully everybody is warm and comfy. We are. Everybody is like, people are all calling and they're, cause I'm in Texas. Hi Hunter. That's the puppy. Um, everyone's calling and they're like, you okay? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, it's so cold. And we're like, no, it's like 75 out today. What are you, what's it going to be? Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. probably going to be about 75. It's we about are 70 now. treating the bugs. We are preparing for spring. We are planting the plants. It was just a quirk out of nowhere. Hi, Kelly. Snowstorm. Who's Kelly? Oh, hi. Kelly, hi. Nice to see you. Oh, <laughs> and we're doing really good. Everything is warm and comfy, and we are in shorts and tank tops. husband's blowing his nuts. We went uh, down south yesterday, so I have allergies. Yeah, if we go <laughs> anywhere south of McKinney, Texas, my husband and my son just are not okay. God, be careful, sweetie. Your computer is on my cord, which is plugged in, and it shakes everything. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all good. Do you think we really need the cord? There you yeah, go. I don't think we need that. I think... I think we have enough charge to go for a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to be looking at my swatches. Everybody always says, what do you do with your swatches after you do the reviews? And the truth is, allergies are the worst. They really are. They just suffer so much. And they're on... When they you have unplugged, have... you lost your volume. Really? Yeah. Oh, there it came Completely? Back. Is it back? Yeah, it came Okay, back. cool. But, um... Yeah, everybody always wants to know about the swatches afterwards. So I have a basket of swatches. This is where they go after. Because whenever I get a new yarn, I have to swatch it. So we might be swatching some new yarn because I went shopping. Because my birthday is in three days or four? Oh, two days. Gracious. Time goes faster when you get older, doesn't it? What's that? Oh, I'm going to uncover one of your ears. There okay. we go. <laughs> Oh, it is so bad right now. But I went over to Michael's and Joann's. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby yet. But I bought some yarn. Yes, yeah, so we ventured out into the sunshine. Because <laughs> it was hot. <laughs> we're, we ran for it. As soon as it was safe and everything was defrosted on the road, we ran so fast out of this house. We aren't big shoppers, but we're just like, let me out of this house. We were locked up for five days. Yeah. And they were stressful days because it was like, you're all going to lose electricity. We lost electricity for like two hours in the middle of the night. And then we had, um, we were still on a boil water order, but that's not really snow related. That's like you live in an old city and it didn't handle it well related, if you will. So they're still saying boil your water, which we've never drank the city water anyway, because it's, literally slimy how would you describe our water before uh, filtration i you know i i can't really give a good description it's soapy it's slippery like people wash their hands and it feels like you cannot rinse off the soap it's like it's like you have liquid soap on your hands it's like so we went through a massive process for our filtration we like I think we bought three water filter systems from Amazon. Yeah, we tried two before we came up to reverse osmosis. Yeah. And now we're on RO, which is fabulous. But we lo we got so low on our water pressure that we didn't trust the RO because it kind of has to force through the wall of the RO. And that wasn't going to work out. So all the water stress and all the stuff stress and the being home. It was great the first day we went sledding. It was fabulous. And then after that, it was like, okay, this can stop now. <laughs> but it didn't. <laughs> and we're like, this is Texas. <laughs> All the snow is gone. All the snow was is now so so gone. It's seventy degrees outside. It is. It's wonderful outside. Hi, honey. What you doing, babe? 
How's it going? It's getting water. He's like, why are you talking to me? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to go through my yarn. I do want to say the winners of the last two contests, the February haul and the magazine, it's coming now. Our mail was down. We didn't have mail either. Everybody's like, but it says through rain and sleet and snow. Yeah, but our... Our system is a little different than average. That's places where they expect rain, sleet, or snow. Oh, honey, are you going to read it to me? Kelly's got a family in Texas. Her mom bought me a yarn winder. It came on Monday. She's happy with it. Awesome! Which one did you get? I have the one that they sell on Knit Picks. It's purple and gray, or kind of maroon and gray. It's held me well. Hey, Taylor, how's it going? Hey, Taylor. What are you working on today? We're going to be looking at the swatches I made throughout the last couple of years and some yarn hauling. And we're going to probably either make some baby booties or we're going to make the bandana that I made. I made a tutorial for a bandana. It's going over really well, but a couple people, I think about eight people, they've gotten curled edges and I have no idea. And when they say curled edges, they mean like the part that lays on top of your head. And I have no idea, so I'm going to figure out how come it's curling so we can help them because I can't figure it out. So if you have some light worsted weight yarn, like Simply Soft or something, and a, I think it was a G hook, it might have been an H hook, I'll look in a second, then go ahead and work along with me. <laughs> Maybe you can help me figure it out because I am stumped as to what's going on for curled edges on the top. There must be... Curled edges means too many stitches as a rule, which means there must be too many stitches, and it's like a granny square. Kelly but, got the Craft Destiny. I'm guessing that's never the... never heard of it. I want to see a picture. Do something on your story, so I'll take a peek later. I hope the girls are good. I was thinking of them the other day, because I made... I'm remaking all the patterns that I ever had on my blog, because um, I have... Well, the pictures were from a phone in 2013 sometimes. Yes. It, and I didn't know anything about lighting. So you could imagine these pictures. They're cute. They're on my son. But I'm like, I need somebody who has a little girl to take a picture of crocheted leg warmers. Hello, Freya. How are you doing? Nice to have you joining us. I'm Melody. But yeah, I was thinking of Kelly because Kelly has two daughters. And I'm trying to think of how old the littler one is. And I'm like, who do I know that I look at that wears, that would wear little one's leg warmers? Tell them about all your videos. Oh gosh. I do want to apologize if the spam of videos a couple days ago, I did it in the middle of the night. I've wanted to do a basic series for a very long time. And people have asked for it. When I do the patterns, they want to see the... Um, basic stitches like just a link for new people who want to see like how to do a single crochet how to do a back loop double crochet when I say that and some people are like I don't want to see the in the how to do the stitches every time you make a video and I'm like I want it to be for beginners so I did the basics tutorials which is 16 two to five minute videos and I posted them all at once because I'm like do I want to do one a day What's more irritating, one video, one two-minute video a day, 16 days in a row, or just boom, get them all down? I lost some subscribers. <laughs> it was not nice. I, I was like, ah, yeah, they hate them. But no, they look, look, they look to be well-received. Um, I'm sure the people who I lost just, they were abducted by aliens. I'm, I'm just going to tell myself that so it doesn't make me sad. It happens. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what everybody says when I'm like, but, 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 but. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because I lost people and it made me sad and it's my birthday week. So, you know. Birthday week. Birthday week. <laughs> my goal was 10,000 subscribers by the end of February. So if you could share me, I would consider it a very good birthday present. Oh, hello. G Ray. Papa Adai, hello, how are you doing? Where are you from? I see the flag, but honestly on my iPad, the little flag is like this. I see that it's blue. That's all I can tell from this distance. I'm sorry. Where are you from? 
Want to look at the swatches first? We're going to look at the swatches first while we collect. Okay. So, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if this is painfully boring. This doesn't bore me at all. I could look at yarn all day long. But this is Crocheted Up Patton's Croy. That's a lot of different patterns. Yeah, I like to do, whenever I do one, I chain for 23. I do three rows of double crochet, three rows of half double crochet, three rows of single crochet, three rows of granny, there's a V-stitch, and then a scallop edge. Usually I try two different kinds of scallop edge. That's a wide one, that's a short one. This way, when I'm creating things out of it later, I can see how it lays with itself. How big the stitches are. If it's fingering weight, I'll always use an F hook, even if it says different. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, Kelly does not have two daughters. Man, I am so sorry. She does have a sister and a brother. Hello! <laughs> Gracious! I have to look. I'm glad. Hi, Odd but Nice. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, Kelly, I'm so sorry. Who am I confusing you with? Now I have to find out. I am so sorry. Now I feel awkward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's my life right there. It's, Izzy wants to show his swatch. Oh, too. this is my son, Izzy. Honey, <laughs> you threw yarny stuff at Come me. Come on, in, Izzy. Before I show any more swatches, my son, he's 11 and he's learning to crochet. Uh, I made this. He made that. All on his own. I think I did a decrease stitch or something. He did a little oh. decrease in the middle. He's learning where to place his stitches. I think that's a big challenge for all of us. It's better than before. When, you look whenever good. I whenever I went up and, and down and made different lines, I, I was like doing one stitch at a time instead, instead of actually going through the Vs. Uh-huh. I know. It's crazy, right? He was talking, oh wait, where'd you go? Oh, but this is, um, before you go, you have to tell what it is. This is. Oh, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's getting bigger, older. He's growing fast. He's 11 <laughs> now. It's crazy. But yeah, looky. So this is impeccable. And I believe this to be Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, okay, go just pull I just got them out uh, random. I just got them out random. I have a big basket of yarn balls. If I break into a skein of yarn, I wrap it up into a ball or three, and then I put it in the living room in a great big basket you can see through. He does. He got that deep voice. He's always had a deep-ish voice, but yeah, it's falling fast. The other day, we were in a store, and you know how you like just called your children? It wasn't a busy store, but you just call, you okay? And he said he was okay, and I actually had to double take to make sure he wasn't like being impersonated by a grown man. <laughs> I'm like... It's like if you say, you okay? And you expect, yes, I'm fine. And you get, yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, he's been kidnapped. Somebody's impersonating him poorly. <laughs> As it were. <laughs> but yeah, he is growing super fast. It's hilarious. I'm like, whoa. And he's so tall now? He's tall. He's, I think, about 5'2". Nearly your height. Yeah, I'm 5'5". Five five, so he is gaining on me fast. Patton's Croy, sock weight yarn. I love it. It's all one. It's a striping yarn. That's why it's changing colors. But look at that. Isn't it beautiful? This makes me so happy. And then this is another fingering weight. And this is why I do it. I like to compare. This is another fingering weight. This is wool like. Wool like. I think there's only one L in there. One word. Oh, he does. He loves to go to a yarn store. He just loves to socialize. He loves people. He loves the yarn store. Do you like going to the yarn stores? I like going to the yarn stores and playing on the stores. Not the craft stores. Like McKinney Knittery and stuff and on the yarn yeah, crawls. Like the actual stores, yeah. yeah. He likes the um, local yarn stores. He doesn't love the craft stores. I think we just go a little too often for his taste. Yeah, it's wonderful. But this is Loops and Threads, so Michael's store brand. They're wool-like, which is, I think, mostly, if not all, yeah, it's 100% acrylic. So it's super, super silky, and so it's just wool tiny. It's like wool. He had a face. <laughs> it's really, really tiny, 
very, very stretchy. And you could see the way it lays differently than Patton's Croix. It's just skinnier, which is nice for a summer top or anything that you're making that you're going to be, that you want to be super drapey if you're crocheting something. And it runs like $2.99 a ball and they have great colors. So if you're looking for something more budget, highly suggest. It's beautiful. And then you can see this. This is... That's awesome. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a lot. Dream in color, smooshy with cashmere in... I'm going to say carnival. Um, we had some spring scented candles. I saw lemon. And oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so this was birthday yarn probably about three years ago. Whenever I get present yarn, I like to make it one of my swatches. So I made a, I made a sweater out of it and I made a shawl out of it because I got three balls of it. Yeah, isn't that pretty? But smushy with cashmere. I believe it's called carnival. It's really, really, really pretty. It's so colorful. It's so colorful. And it's totally my colors, the greens and purples and everything. And... Then there's this. This is Knit Picks. What's their sock weight yarn? Help me, help me. It's the one. Oh, Stroll. This oh, is like Knit that. Picks Stroll. And I dyed this one, but it's their normal Stroll base. And also, these are all fingering weight yarn, all done up on an F hook. And they're just so different. Like, if you look at how different that is. No, not Hawthorne. I like Hawthorne, but Hawthorne's way thicker. This is Stroll. You know, it's like their skinny one. My question was whether it was Felici or Stroll. And this feels very Stroll. But, yeah. It's so different, but it's so tiny. Hi, Sherry. Hey, Sherry. So tiny. You're not reading me questions. I'm having to rely on my own reading skills. Am I missing anything? No, you're actually getting the messages before I do. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm wearing my shawl inside out. Oh, that was just a marker. <laughs> but, yeah. Ooh, I didn't hear it. No, Felici is not Stroll. Felici is my favorite, and Stroll is different. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh. I'm going to get it. I'll be right back. Be entertained. I'm okay. Izzy, come join me. Oh, babe. Hi. <laughs> we are the very unentertaining father and son. Here we go. I'm crocheting. Izzy's working on it right now. So apparently she's going to go get the uh, yarn that you requested. She has a lot of backup yarn. And by a lot, she has like three whole metal Ikea shells. Or were they from Ikea? Um, you know, I'm not sure. <laughs> but they are huge. <laughs> They've probably seen her stash before. They want to know what you're working on, Izzy. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, here comes your mama. Hey! Oh. I'm not sure. <laughs> he's just creating. He, he just, just likes to just he's go. He's just working on the stitches at this point. But this is Felici. And I thought I was going to grab a sweater made of Stroll. And I got rid of it. I just don't like it as much. The way it blooms after you use it, it's not my favorite. Like, you can see it's this. This looks very Felici. But if you wash this, it just... And I only hand wash. It just, I didn't love it afterward. It almost like washed away the softness. It was really strange. And I use really good wool soap. So that I don't know. Bar? Maybe it was me. Yeah, I buy, um, they're really pretty smells. I buy this wool soap bar tufts. I love it on everything else, but this is just for sizing for me. So I have something to compare. Yeah, and it's so different. But this one's Felici. I hand dyed it myself. I knitted this a while ago. But yeah, so it's just fun to see the different sizes that it all comes up. And I just, and I play with these. It's like Play-Doh. 
that's a little bit bigger and it's all on the same hook so weird Sherry hmm? says she can only buy yarn on 29th 30th 31st is that like a special deal? there's no such thing oh oh okay how many days are in February babe oh okay <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> I'm a little slow sometimes. <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> and this is, I love this cotton. Whenever I have worsted weight, and I believe I love this cotton is actually Aran weight, but whenever I have worsted or Aran or size 4, I use a J hook. So this is on a J hook. And let's see, what else do we have? This is a cotton. Um, Karen cake, so Karen cotton cakes. So then, you know, I have two cottons and then I'll compare them. These lay super different, even though they're both supposed to be size four. It is, I love, I love this cotton. It is well named. I have so many colors and I made a shawl out of this one. I made the bees shawl. Oh, I forget what the full name of it was, but I made the bees shawl out of this and yellow. So light down, no need to fuss. The dogs are getting excited. Yes, apparently they found something in the back. Yeah. Dixie's a hound, she makes noises. We actually, I didn't have anything online for a while because when she was a puppy, oh, they're just so communicative. Dixie, up. Hunter, get down. She is so neat. <laughs> Hunter, you already showed you. Come here, mama. Up, up. You could do it. You guys are baby. But she's a full big girl now. <laughs> Didn't go baby. <laughs> but yeah. She loves kisses. She uh, is. Giving kisses. Yes. <laughs> They're scent hounds and they just love everything smell. Huh? Yes, you baby. Yes, you good girl. You like yarn? Yeah. She likes rabbit yarn. She's like, do you have anything made of rabbit? Kelly's making Jada's summer top. Ooh! I'm having a hard time picturing it. I feel like she has a couple. Ooh, sparkly? Which one did you use? Which sparkly yarn? What is this? Oh, this is Kobu. Lion Brand Kobu. It's a little one. This is a size three. And this is, I think also Lion Brand. It's their ZZ Twist. It's so stretchy and open. It's really nice. Great for like you were saying, summer tops. This is Stylecraft DK. So that's a size three also. Oh, yes. She's had a green, I mean a pink rhinestone collar since we brought her home. The first one we got, we've had to buy three so far because she grew. Oh, I have to look. I haven't seen a peekaboo top on her. Ooh, what is this? I don't know, but that's really neat. Anybody know? <laughs> it's one yarn, color changing. I don't remember. It has stumped me. Let me know if you know this yarn. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's pretty, but I haven't got a clue. Like, I don't remember making this. It looks thin. It's really thin. It's definitely sock weight, but no idea. And this is, it's Yarn B. It's their baby. I want to call it Snuggle Baby, but I'm not sure. Mm. No, it doesn't feel hand-dyed. And it's really, like, oatmeal-colored. Like, that white is really oatmeal-y. I am not sure. Okay, I'm going to ask a husband question. Do it, babe. How do you know when it's hand-dyed? Like, how do you feel? Um, it's better. Um, <laughs> softer or? Not necessarily softer, just like better. Like this is hand dyed. Okay. Not independently hand dyed, but hand dyed. And this is not. 
and this is not. And they're all the same size. That's okay. the same stuff. And usually the difference is also people tend to do super wash finger and white, so it's just softer. It looks like a Christmas colorway. You're right. That'll come back to me later and I'll feel funny. This is the baby yarn from Hobby Lobby, the Yarn B brand one. They have a ton of colors. And I got it to compare, because they're both DK weight, I got it to compare when I was sent the DK. Hey Jojo. She's making hey, her slouchy hat. Ooh, what color are you making, Jojo? Oh my gosh, I love slouchy hats. My husband put one on the other day. He put on my green one, because it was freezing. Hello, Texas. My hair is fully my hair today. But he put it on and he acted like he didn't know what a slouchy hat was. It was embarrassing. He just put it on, he just kept going. And I'm like, it's, he's like, is it supposed to cover your entire face? I'm like, no. You've ruined my slouchy mystique. Okay. My mystique. Yes. Now everybody knows it's just a long hat. <laughs> this is Feels Like Butter, Lion Brand, worsted weight. It's massive, am I right? Want to touch it? Yeah. It's got a little cotton in there. Oh. It's acrylic-y. It's very fluffy. Yes, I love the neons. Do you? Yeah, the neon oh, colors. Oh, he does. Yeah. He really, really does. It's. I'm like, really? And he always, and like, yeah. This is Bread Heart Super Saver. Gotta have something to compare, right? But yeah, I like that color. It's peaty. Ooh, I did one in dark green. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. If you post a picture on Instagram, tag me. I'm at Melody Crochet. Now I have to remember what this is. Oh, I know what this is. This is Joy DK from Loops and Threads. Isn't that a pretty color? I have so much of that because they they made this really pretty lavender. I have like six balls of it. I want to make a sweater. I have an issue with collecting purple yarn. This is hand dyed. Oh, that's really nice too. Yeah. This is Madeline Tosh DK Twist. But yeah, really, really pretty. It's coming out. Apparently I didn't secure it very well, but I did this like years ago. I keep these around and when I find one, I throw it in my basket. Hey babe, I'm the one. What are you? Oh, he's the one person that likes neons. Oh. <laughs> I love neon. <laughs> the reason why there's neon colors in this world. He's the reason why they're there. <laughs> we were at Michael's yesterday. I got some stuff. We were at Michael's yesterday and he saw the neon purple that I made my hat out of, my mom hat. And he's like, that's a really nice color. I'm like, yeah, I thought so a week and a half ago when I bought it and made myself a hat and I've been wearing it for a week. And he's like, oh, is that the color? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, it looks different with all the other colors. Ooh, I remember Karen Simply Soft. I love Karen Simply Soft. Forget the one painted finger. We went to Daiso yesterday. I did a haul for his channel, have, um, Happy Home Crafts. And, um, well, I painted my finger now. Cause I, I <laughs> fell victim to the cheap makeup. And I don't need things. I don't know what happened yesterday. We just went out. We we're just like, mm. <laughs> Got a lot of books. This is the last one I have with me and it's the favorite. Vanna's Choice. Oh my gosh, you've never had Madeline Tosh? Oh my gosh. You need some Madeline Tosh. It's amazing. Um, let's see, they have Madeline Tosh and then what's big here? What's the other one? Ooh, well, she's in Dallas and I'm in Texas. They used to have a store locally, so it's probably a local thing. I don't think I had a ton of Madeline Tosh when we lived in California. And it was a store and then they closed the store. Oh, I'd love to see it, Jojo. What colors? Oh, but 
yeah, they have such great colors. I have a bunch of Madeline Tosh. She posts things on Instagram and then she posts a sale. It's like, how do you know my love language? It's crazy. So that is all of my swatches. Shall we look into what we bought? Go for it. I didn't go crazy. But first I went to, well, we went to Joanne's first. Okay. And I love alpaca. So I got, they had touch of alpaca in stock, which was crazy to me. And I was so excited. So I got the Lion Brand touch of alpaca. I've had their loops and threads alpaca, but I haven't had any yet. This is 90% acrylic, 10% alpaca, worsted weight, 207 yards. And I think it was on sale 30% off. I think I paid like $4 for it. What are you going to make out of that? Um, not 100% sure, but with all the remaking, I'm looking for more mellow colors because they do just photograph better for the blog. So I'm thinking this is more mellow purple than the ones I usually choose. And it'll be really easy to video because it's that middle color. Um, really dark colors and really bright colors make it very hard to do a tutorial. Like, I'm more attracted to dual tones and brights and black and white, but that does not photograph well. <laughs> it's just, it's like his shirt. It just turns into a not a color, and people are like, I can't see it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really pretty dusty purple, and the heathering makes, like, an interesting effect. So it's a little bit easier to see. You can even see the strands really well there, like, compared to, like, this where you can hardly see the strands. Like, I prefer this color, but you can't see that. I mean, that's, you can't see that very well if you're learning to crochet. So, but this one stands out really, really, really well. So I got, the purple is called Purple Aster, which I love. And it's probably, I will probably use these together and make my newsboy cap. And this one is called Jade. Isn't that pretty? So, so, so pretty. I love alpaca. It's not the softest thing in the world. How would you rate? He's my unbiased opinioner. Because he doesn't love yarn and I love yarn. So um. you ask me and I'm like, it has qualities. I stand up for the yarn. What's nice? It's nice. <laughs> exactly. That's my husband. He has never insulted anything in his entire life. Mmm. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> And I got another Bernat Black Velvet. I am crocheting myself a robe in my free time. Yes, that jade green is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? And it's really, it feels like it's going to hold up well. Because sometimes, the first pair of socks I ever knitted. Oh, the mail's here. <laughs> Sorry. That's <laughs> in the mail. Hey. <laughs> when the birthday's in two days, you know, it's like. But. I got another one of these. This is my fourth one. This should definitely complete my robe. I'm trying to make a very long crocheted velvet bathrobe. Like Morticia Adams style. Super excited. Super excited. I'm getting through it. I'm getting through the body of it. And then, this is new to me. We're going to look at this together for a second. It is... Um, no, I'm trying to see... If I have any Karen Simply Soft over there. Because this is big twist and it looks like they are trying to dupe some Karen Simply Soft. So we need to look into this. Maybe I should do, I'll do a whole review of it. I'll try and get nice. it done today. I love it. They've got the bright colors just like Karen Simply Soft. It's super duper drapey. Where's the strand? It's just super drapey. And 100% acrylic. You get a good amount and the price is really good. I think it was $2.99 minus 30%, which is fabulous. So I love making anything filet crochet out of Karen Simply Soft, especially baby blankets. And I have a certain kind of hat that I make that's super drapey and super long. Oh, what does she see from me? Oh, yes. I love it. And it's got that sheen to it. And yeah, but I love Karen Simply Soft. I have... I'm pretty sure every color of Karen's a place off. Not bragging. 
but kind of won the Karen Simply Soft game. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm not sure. So that is all I bought over Joanne. No, wait, yeah. Right? But yeah. Didn't, didn't you get a, uh, what do they call it, a cake? <laughs> no, that's Michael's. Oh, okay. So then we went to Michael's. Hi, baby. Well, did you Dixie's tell them about back. The spin bike? Oh, wait, I also got a spin bike. I'm not sure yes, you can for her see birthday. It. For my birthday. Let's see if we can tilt over that way. She tilts it this way. How do you, how do you point? There you go. That's hard. <laughs> it's hard to see because it's in the uh, window. Yeah. Um, I like to look out the window when I exercise. It makes me happy. Now, I went over to Michael's. And there's some stuff I needed to try. And I was looking at it online. And then I found it. Let me see here. This is called Flex. I only got one because that's massive. You get a ton. It was $9.99, which is kind of a beefy price. It was 20% off of everything that wasn't on sale. And it wasn't on sale, so it was $8. But, yeah. Isn't that interesting? I saw it online, but it wasn't the best picture. Then when I saw it in person, I'm like, okay. So it's size four, super duper drapey. I'd say even drapier feeling than the Simply Soft and the Big Twist Soft. But 10 and a half ounces, oh my gosh, it's massive. It's 590 yards, 300 grams, and it's so silky and soft. I love the green. I don't normally love yellow and all the things, but I think it'll be really pretty just as like a quick something to cover my shoulders when it's sunny and I can't be taken out of tank tops, for example. I just, tank tops. There you go. Texas. Keep it cool. Yeah. It, really? You think so? Red Heart has flex? Does it still have it or is that an old yarn? Or do you mean like their tweed, like the Red Heart Super Saver tweed or is it something else? Because this is super duper drapey. It almost feels like a yarn that would be made out of bamboo, like kobu or something. But with little flecks of fluffy in it. It's hilarious. I'm like, oh. And all they had was pastels. They had pastels and then one really creamy neutral. I'm not a creamy color person. I don't like warmer colors. And I didn't want any crazy pastels. This is my favorite. I wish they had something darker. That would have been awesome. But there she is. So pretty. I'm really excited about this one. Wanna see it? Sure. Cool. <laughs> Same with food. I'm like, did you like it? He's like, it was okay. And I'm like, oh, he hated it. <laughs> that man hated that meal. <laughs> well, I don't have good feelers either, so. You do? Nah. Do you felt yarn yesterday and you're like, this is so soft. It's pretty rare. I'm pretty calloused. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found the prettiest thing that ever happened in the entire world. It is a caring baby cake and it is called Pool Party. And it really is just the prettiest thing that ever happened in the entire world. I know that I might be biased, but how pretty is that? It's got the aquas and the purples and then it's got the bright green and I can't wait to break into it and it is pretty I wanted to get two but I held back <laughs> it just smells good oh my gosh those were like ten dollars I think yeah he complained and I screamed birthday month and I said okay it was it was in a moment it was a moment but yeah what do you think what does everybody think I need opinions she's beautiful Yes, it's true. You have to fully smoosh it. Oh. You have to squeeze. Squeeze? Okay. Good job. Okay, there you go. Okay. So squeeze. Squeeze. Smoosh into the fist. Smoosh? Like... Mm-hmm. Smell it? I, I tried to. How is it? it it's... It's nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I just can't smell right now. Ooh. I'm still stuffed up. Okay. And then... <laughs> right? Darn near profanity in for him. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, KP. How's it going? Oh, my gosh. How about this one? This one, I mean, I, this one is like, it speaks to me. 
But then I saw this and I wanted another cotton cake. I do not love, yeah, it really is. But like, I don't love that the colors are muted for all of their cotton cakes. I know for a fact you can make brightly strong colored cotton, Karen. I've seen it. Um, <laughs> I have actually, I have that one. It's called Calico Colors and it's super isn't it amazing Kelly it's um it's the favorite one they had a lot of colors there but it's the favorite one it's called amethyst sky and it's so pretty what's the boy I think it's flashy and look how it's like turtle next foot yeah she's a tortoise a oh our cat has a special cat color name she's a dilute tortoise shell Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. It and it's going to definitely be a top. I thought I should get two, but I just got one. So I need to work fast because if I need more, you know how Karen cakes are. They're there and then they're gone. It's like, oh my gosh. You okay, Ben? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. And then one last thing, which I'd never seen before. Ooh, what's this say? Mmm. I don't think we're at the bottom. Yeah, I just get delayed. Oh, oh, yes, they are really, really pretty colors. Then I saw this, and this is Eco Bright in the color purple. I do love it when they get me with a crazy color name. I expect, like, you know, something else, but yeah, purple. Super pretty. It is really, okay, let's test it. Honey, soft? Okay, let me try this again. That is soft. Okay, I see it. See, he can tell when something's <laughs> soft. <laughs> oh, which one's tulip? Is that the peachy one? It's like peach and cream and white, if I remember correctly. They have a couple Karen cotton cakes. That's one of the ones they really developed that line. It's beautiful. And they had, oh, if you are by a Michaels, I highly suggest going. Yesterday, at least mine, put a ton of Karen cakes from the winter and the cold months on clearance for relatively good prices. The only problem is once they're on clearance, you can't use the coupon that's going on right now. So it's practically the same price. They even had, remember the birthday cakes, like the celebration cakes that are like this? They hit the clearance. They were $19. Um, unless you have a coupon that works on those, which is cool too. But loving this. Ooh, purple, green, and cream. That sounds beautiful. Ooh, that sounds pretty. We should go. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Time to go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but this looks really cool. Um, it is Eco Brights. It was $7.99 minus a 20%. It's a bulky weight yarn and it is made of, I don't think it was made of a, yeah, recycled polyester. This is recycled polyester. Polyester. Would it you is, think that? It is nice. You know what it feels like? You know what it feels just like? Actually, I hadn't noticed until just now. It feels just like feels like butter just like it like to the point where if you were making something and you wanted more variety in color because they don't have a fabulous variety in color on the feels like butter totally could mix this in a project it says this is bulky but that's not that different my stomach is growing i forgot to feed time to eat mm -hmm. but yeah it's like totally the same and i was just thinking it feels just like feels like butter okay so that was cool well, shall we try to make a thing? Sure. Mm. No? I'm making a thing. Awesome. We're going to check in with Izzy, and then we'll probably call it. Show us what you've done, son. Okay, exactly. No, no, no. Hunter is on his yard. Hunter's guarding it. Just just walk, honey. He'll come with you. He's, he's, <laughs> he's a dog. He's, he loves leashes. Hello. Okay. Just walk. I just switched my color. Oh, he just added green. You gotta go a little closer. That's the camera. We made a thing. Hi. <laughs>
don't worry. It it looks better after you do a few more rows. But it is. Thank you so much. I did not overdo. Of course, there is more. But that's going to be a haul later today. I ordered Hirschner's for the first time. Yes, a birthday present. But birthday month is a is a crazy time, full of yarn and exercise stuff for me. So, and then I use it all, usually. Mm. But thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. We'll be back. We're gonna do a nighttime one. When are we gonna do nighttime? Uh, that really depends. When do you think you get to call? I would say Thursday night. We're gonna be on. We'll try for Thursday night. And we'll go for 7 p.m. Eastern. And we will see you guys there. And then we can go ahead and make the bandana and maybe baby booty. Because somebody's been showing me how to make my baby booties too. So I will see you guys on Tuesday night. Bye-bye. 7 p.m. Central. Thank you so much for joining us. And you have a great day.